uh, see CPU scheduling. Uh, CPU scheduling is nothing but picking up a process from the ready state because in the ready state there will be many processes picking up one of them and then giving it to the CPU that is called CPU scheduling and uh, who will do that the short term scheduler the short term scheduler along with the dispatcher sometimes dispatcher is a part of the short term scheduler and sometimes both of them can be a different modules so short term scheduler see this if this is the pool of ready processes now short term scheduler will pick one of them and then give it to the cpu right so this entire thing is called as uh, scheduling the cpu scheduling but then there are various things sometimes short term scheduler can limit itself to picking up a process and then the actual scheduling will be scheduling means changing the context the actual context switching will be taken by uh, dispatcher that is one case <coughs> right so anyway uh, who will do that is uh, short term scheduler that is uh, that is the module which initiates this and then where from ready state to running state and when so when will it happen is there are various cases whenever uh, a you know a process moves from running to termination it means that the process which you have given to the cpu has terminated and it does not need cpu anymore therefore cpu is free and it can be assigned to some other it is a natural event so it happens a lot of times whenever you give a process to the cpu it gets uh, uh, executed and therefore we can pick up the next one and the second one is running state to wait state this is the second one so running state to wait state means when a process is in running it might need the io or some other event something either it might need io or it might need some other resource which is not currently available then it is going to wait or block in which it is going to wait for that particular resource and at that time you can pick one of the process from ready and you can schedule it and the other one is the process could be a process could go from run to ready so why do you think that a process will go from run to ready there are two ways one is uh, you know uh, there is something called as a timer so that is also called as quantum time or timer so every process if you set it a time that it should only use for that much time and it should leave the cpu therefore it is going to trigger that uh, timeout event is going to trigger a transition a process will move from red running state to ready state or depending on priorities also it will happen so how does it happen because of priorities see this whenever a new process now you know suddenly join the ready queue and if it is having a higher priority compared to the already existing processes then this could happen right if already existing processes are having a less priority and suddenly a new new process got created uh, which is having high priority then obviously we should pull out the less priority process from the cpu and give the higher priority process if a process is already higher priority then how could the lower priority uh, process go there go to the cpu at the first place because that high priority process is not available till then so whenever it came up, came into availability i mean whenever it is available in ready queue then this movement will be triggered which means till now whatever are present here among this we have picked up the best one the highest priority and we are running it and suddenly a new priority has you know joined a process has joined which is having higher priority than whatever we have picked up then we are going to uh, you know remove it from the cpu which means we are going to forcefully you know send it out and then put the new process there and other one is uh, if a process has uh, done a transition from wait to ready sometimes what happens is a higher priority process will go and wait for a resource either for the io or some resource and it will wait in the waiting queue and the waiting state right then what happens is at that point the cpu becomes idle and therefore you will schedule one of the uh, next process which is having some priority then later if the if the process which originally was in this uh, waiting queue that uh, wait state is now ready to you know execute and which is having higher priority which means see this i'll take an example let us say this cpu hmm? and now a process is having priority 10 highest priority is now executing on the cpu and suddenly it wants some uh, you know uh, resource therefore it 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 is it gone to the waiting state it is waiting state and it is ready state right then what we do is we take this process this uh, you know uh, process and we put it in the waiting state and then we take some other process and start running it let us say the process which got running is priority is 9 which means lower than this 
so it is going to run as long as this process 10 the pri process with priority 10 is not available but in case if the process with priority 10 now finishes its uh, whatever requirement it has IO requirement and if it enters the ready queue which means if it is now having a priority of uh, let us say 10 and it is available in the ready queue then definitely this one should be uh, preempted preempted means pulled out this is what happens when when sometimes a process with uh, process you know moves from uh, waiting state to ready state but it does not mean that all the time whenever a process moves from waiting to ready you should actually you know schedule the cpu no that depends on the uh, priority of the process if it is having higher priority then it should happen right so see this whenever this one happens we should definitely schedule it definitely because cpu is idle therefore cpu scheduling is required and whenever this one happens we should definitely schedule it because again cpu is idle and here also we should definitely schedule it because cpu is idle right but whenever this thing happens which means when a, when a process is uh, created from new to ready you need not change the scheduling unless unless the newly created process is having higher priority and the next one is wait to ready so what does it mean whenever this one this example right so whenever any process moves from uh, wait to ready it does not mean that for every moment every that every transition for every process we are going to schedule it no we are going to do it only when the process which moved into the ready queue is having higher priority compared to the process which are inside the uh, ready queue i mean which are which are already running there okay so this is how the cpu scheduling works there are various types of scheduling algorithms uh, we shall look at them and uh, basically you can classify them as two types one is preemptive and other is non preemptive okay we shall see all all of them with examples hmm?